the top 10 country artists that converted me from being a country hater to now, bro, I'm not gonna exaggerate, but by saying this, but it's true, a country lover. I immigrated to the United States when I was 15 and country was always a thing we made fun of, to be honest. And so when I first moved here, like it's pretty common with like human nature and whatnot, uh, I, I just became friends with a, a non-white crowd in my school, which you'd be surprised, but in Utah, there are certain spots where there is a lot of diversity. And the school I went to just so happened to be one of these. So I was able to find these groups of of friends and we were hip hop hip hop people frankly because we wanted to appear harder than we really were and so the cool thing was to make fun of country also but i've changed my mind and you can go through my 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 sebs tries to like country playlist there's now over 200 videos in there but you can go chronologically and see me change my mind but let's do this little countdown here to to talk about some of these artists and these are the guys that primarily make up my country playlist now dude it's so weird to admit that i listen to country in the car now now before we make this list you may be upset that some of your favorite people may be left out my response to this is that sometimes music just speaks to us differently there's a lot of things going on in all of our lives that just connect us to a song to an artist it's just different so all of this Honestly, just doesn't like doesn't matter. This is my list. Coming at number ten, we have Conway Twitty. That's my job. All right, so I love Conway Twitty's like love making, love making, baby making music. I think I have like two or three of his songs on my country playlist now. His swag and the way he aged so gracefully. So we've checked out tight fitting jeans in this channel. That's my job. You've never been this far before. Those were like. You know some of the songs i really really enjoyed but the one that like took me to i love this guy was it was a song who did they think he was it hit i loved it conway twitty comes in at number 10. at number nine we got kenny rogers you got to know when the whole we first checked out kenny rogers because my wife sent me a rap song by Andy Minio. So it's this rapper talking about why country's so dope. And he mentions Kenny Rogers in the chorus. So then I went through all of the requests I got and there were many Kenny Rogers uh, recommendations. The first song we checked out was Coward of the, uh, of the County. Then we checked out The Gambler. And what I loved about these songs were the storytelling, which like, let me deviate. One of the things, and I've mentioned these on all of these channels. So if you have watched my country videos, the storytelling is perhaps one of my favorite aspects of this style of music. And Kenny Rogers exemplifies that. Just a few days ago, I then also listened to his song, Lady. I'm your knight in shining armor and I instantly bumped him up to my top 10 easy like i can't wait to find a karaoke event where my wife i'm accompanied by my wife Allie, and that's the song i'm singing to her baby kenny rogers is a legend rightfully so coming at number eight is randy travis farmer and a teacher a hooker and a preacher now i have only checked out technically two randy travis songs on, uh, on the channel. One of them was one of the very first, like one of like the first five, first 10 country songs we checked out. Um, and it was Three Wooden Crosses. And that song is technically in the Seb's Try So Like Country playlist is my most uh, played song. So when it comes to country, that's my most viewed, which means you guys love Randy Travis and I loved it. So I bonded with a lot of you over that one. Uh, beautiful songs. Three Wooden Crosses, what else did we check out? Forever and Ever, Amen. Randy Travis uh, was one of the key people to, to get me into the style of music. So to a country hater out there, highly, re highly recommend uh, Randy Travis, especially if you're religious, which I am. So that worked out for me. Coming at number seven, Darius Rucker. We checked him out and immediately my presumptions were challenged. This is where I get to pull my immigrant card, you know, and be a little bit politically incorrect. But I didn't expect there to be like a black country artist, dude. So it was really refreshing. So I was like really excited at, at first. And then he just so happened to be freaking awesome. The first song we checked out was uh, It Won't Be Like This For Long. You didn't have to wake up. And I think someone suggested that because they know that I'm a girl dad and I'm a huge fan of being a girl dad. So it hit me hard and I loved him. I did not know that Darius Rucker was before this a member of Hootie and the Blowfish. I don't listen to Hootie and the Blue Blowfish that much. I never really listened to Hootie and the Blowfish, but I remember like a Friends episode where they were talking about them. So I know that they were like a big band. So it was cool to see uh, this dude have such a great like variety in his music. 
and his voice come on like it was the most soulful country i'd heard up to that point so he was also key in converting me towards the style of music but my favorite song of his was actually not a country song it was one where he's singing with a hip-hop artist dax highly recommend that song if you haven't listened to it yet but with all of that darius rucker had to make this list number six alan jackson where were you when the world stopped turning so his his stuff hit me because um the patriotism behind it i've always known that country music is generally speaking very patriotic if you've ever watched parks and rec there's a point or there's a part where bo burnham essentially is making fun of this in country but it, frankly i loved that i became a citizen like four years ago and i'm like so freaking pro-america that i think that's also why country spoke to me my defenses around country were already you know taken down quite a bit at this point by the time i checked out alan jackson so when that patriotism came in i was i was i was all in but the song of his that's in my country playlist because it's so fun it's it's called it's five o'clock somewhere love that song number five that i think this was the technically third country song we ever checked out first one I mean, doesn't really count. It's Johnny Cash's Hurt. Johnny Cash being a country artist, yes, but Hurt is not a country song. Then we checked out, we'll, we'll actually get back to him because uh, this, this dude is uh, number two on the list. So we're going to skip him. Stay tuned for that. But the third was Morgan Wallen. Hard on the run, keeps a hand on the gun. And this was, I had never heard about like his cancellation and stuff like that that he got famous for. Didn't know where he came from. But his voice knocked like blew me you know it blew my mind that first song we checked out was cover me up so again that was december 27th 2022 dude this was early on in the conversion and two days later i checked out another song of his of his wasted on you with my wife and this is where i developed a man crush in this dude particularly with his mullet this went to the point where i tried to convince my wife ali to let me grow a mullet like i really liked the look I don't know why, but I did. So I was trying to convince Ali and she wouldn't let me. So the, you know, the way we compromised was with my current haircut. There is still a party in the back, but not quite as much, you know? So Morgan Wallen was actually transformational for me. His voice, fantastic. And the songs he, he, he sings are freaking fantastic. Come to learn that those songs were written by someone who's going to make this list very soon so stay tuned number four toby keith come and get it who's your daddy i love that <laughs> the funny songs are just so much fun that i have multiple songs in my country playlist now we've checked out seven songs of his now on the channel i think my favorite song of his is who's your daddy it's great stuff dude like that's it's just such a fun time but then when i found out about his cancer and then when someone had me check out don't let the old man in Can't leave it up to him. I was touched, man. So he made me, he made me laugh. He made me feel things. He inspired me. Easy top five on this list. Number three, I was debating having him, uh, you know, even on a country uh, list, but he is considered country. So we're going to put him on Chris Stapleton. Used to spend my night. So I say that because I think Chris Stapleton to me just sounds more, it's more blues to me than anything. But dude, he was also probably within the first five country artists we checked out. Actually, no, he was later. So he was when I was starting to like country. But when I first finally listened to him, I was blown away. This was like my first time listening to him was December 7th, 2022. And people had me check out Tennessee Whiskey. And it was one of the best things I had ever seen. We then checked out Fire Away. I was incredibly touched by that song. He immediately made my like top three vocalists list. He has my favorite voice, particularly in country right now, period. And then came the national anthem. And you see. We went to a Super Bowl party and we got there late, so we didn't even check out the national anthem. So I came home, woke up in the morning, and people had written me like, dude, did you check out Chris Stapleton's national anthem? And I'm like, no. So we checked it out and oh my gosh, dude. Has anyone been moved like that? Un unbelievable. Chris Stapleton, dude, just gosh. Easy for top three. So now number number two, Jamie Johnson. You should have seen it in color. Right after Johnny Cash, the first, the technically the first country song we checked out was Jamie Johnson's In Color. So this is technically the first country song ever we checked out on the channel, 
uh, Seb's country hater reacts to Jamie Johnson's in color November 10th, 2022. So this is when this is, you know, when this started happening. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding the words to express how I felt with this song. So I'll, maybe I'll put some clips here for you to see, but that's such a per beautiful, profound song that why wouldn't I change my mind about country? So with that being the song to make me, you know, question my, you know, prejudice towards this genre and with the power and impact that had easy jimmy johnson is number two which then brings me to number one but before that some honorable mentions as i said earlier certain artists and songs just speak to us in, in certain times so there is no right or wrong list right this is just mine honorable mentions we got trace adkins kenny chesney zach bryan luke combs keith urban and brad paisley and also the zach brown band really like all of these guys but these other guys you know hit me harder so now number one Hardy. Truck. Oh my gosh, I'm getting freaking chills. I, think it truck. I don't know why, but Hardy's music hit me stronger than anything. Not just the stuff that he sings, right? But the stuff that he wrote for others. So God's Country, one of the, like, I have listened to that song so many times. Again, I've listened to a lot of Morgan Wallen. The first song of his, though, that we checked out was Wait in the Truck. And this, is, this was on January 2nd, 2023. So this was very early in the conversion experience. And Wait in the Truck was the best story ever. And I think that's why people suggested it because they were noticing that I was loving the, the story aspect of country. So they're like, check out Wait in the Truck. We did, loved it. Give Heaven Some Hell, loved that song. And then he wrote, and again, I don't know, like certain songs just speak to you, right? For some reason, his song, A Rock. But all you're thinking about is how far you can skip a rock. That is like one of my favorite songs in general. The cleverness of his lyricism. I like his voice. I also watched him on some podcasts with like Theo Vaughn and stuff. Like Likeable guy. I honestly love everything about Hardy. I listen to Unapolog Unapologetically Country all the time it's like it's become that song that i wish was true about me because i i don't have a truck i don't know how to do anything survival like i'm a city boy through and through but i love that song hardy's my favorite hardy makes my number one all i want to say as we end here guys is thank you so much for opening my mind my favorite part about doing this channel is that it has encouraged me to open my mind and expand my horizons that's not how you say that broaden my horizons and it has enriched me it's helped me do something that my favorite line in a tv series one of my favorite lines in any tv series ever in ted lasso he has this line be curious not judgmental during the, doing this channel has helped me practice that and i'm so glad i practiced that with this because now i found a genre of music that is that celebrates life encourages me to be grateful of the small things in life that I have, which are the biggest things. It's encouraged me to laugh a little bit more. It's encouraged me to remember that stories are and storytelling is some of the most important things we can do. And it's encouraged me to be patriotic for this country that's giving me more than I could have ever, ever imagined. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hit like and subscribe. Check out the description down below to find other ways to support. Check out our sponsors and we'll see you guys soon.